Hey everyone, welcome on in to this week's Zoom conversation. I'm Jaden Johnson, joined today with the Utah State women's basketball coaching staff, uh, the brand new Utah State women's basketball coaching staff. They're new on the job. Coach Kayla Ard was hired back uh, almost a couple of months ago now and has got her whole staff together. So I'm excited to, to talk with these guys. I think that these are names and faces you're going to want to get to know because uh, I'm expecting big things out of this staff and um, I, think, I think you're going to see a lot from them this year. So uh, again, it's head coach Kayla Ard, along with uh, assistant coaches Juwan Scaife, uh, Jean Kenny, Carly Burris, and director of ops Taylor Ignoto. Uh, let's start with Coach Ard. Uh, coach, you've been on the job almost two months now. How do you feel like you're settling in? Yeah, it's good. It feels good. It doesn't feel like two months, um, but things are awesome. Uh, got a great house, got a great staff. Really excited about all the players. We've been doing some Zoom stuff with them, getting to know them, and uh, the town is amazing. Um, I feel like everywhere I go, people are super welcoming and know who I am, know who our staff is already. So it says a lot about, about Aggie Nation and Cache Valley here and, and how, how people want to support us. So we're just, we're excited. We're ready to get started and give them a product to be proud of out on the court. Well, when we, we sat down and talked, uh, I think it was the day you were hired or the day you were introduced and did a podcast. And at that point, you didn't have a coaching staff together at all. And it was just you. What, what kind of went into building your staff? And um, what was that process like for you? Yeah, I wanted some people that were like me, um, I think. And, and, you know, we have a young staff and, um, and we're excited to, to all be here. You know, something we, we talked about is everyone here on our staff is very grateful and very thankful to be here. And I think that goes along really well with the community and Logan and um, the athletic department here. And, you know, our athletic director, he, you know, John, he, he's very, he's grateful to be here. And I think that kind of trickles down to us and, we're just grateful and thankful to be here. We're super excited. We all have a ton of energy. Um, there's a lot of knowledge um, between us five on this staff. And, and, you know, I think our players can feel that. The community seems to be able to feel that. Um, we, we're getting a lot of positive feedback about our energy, our excitement, you know, that type of stuff. So, so we're, just, we're just excited. These guys are, are amazing. I'm really, really lucky to have all of them. And, uh, I got lucky, you know, these are the people that I wanted on the staff and, and they were all crazy enough to say yes to me. So, so I'm just happy to have them here with me. And uh, like I said, we just, we just can't wait to get started. Well, I know it's kind of a weird time in college athletics and a, and a weird time in athletics in general, um, but have you guys been able to, to get together quite a bit and spend some time together and get to know each other? Yeah, our staff, honestly, um, you know, people are talking about social distancing, but we're together every day. So uh, we're kind of quarantining together, I guess. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're, we're up at the offices every day. Actually, right now we're doing this. All five of us are in our office. Um, so we're, you know, a few offices away from each other right now. So we're together every day. We're in here working. We're in here grinding every day to get better and, and you know, get the team ready and get things ready for, for when the players come back. And so, yeah, we see each other a lot. Um, we spend a lot of time together outside of here. And I know these guys, have, they, they help me. All, all of them are over my house, help me unload boxes. And uh, I know... Jean help, um, or maybe Jawan helped Jean move a coffee table or something the other day. I don't know. Uh, we uh, Carly's parents came in town and went on a hike with all of us, and so we're we're doing a lot of stuff together. Um, we're that's what's that's what's so great about this staff is that it's going to be more than what goes on in this in this office and um, you know what happens out on the court. We're we're all tight. We're all going to be friends. We're we're family. We all care about each other, and there's a great bond and a great great chemistry already. And I think the players will be able to see that. And, uh, you know, it'll, it'll rub off on them and they'll see how much we care about each other. And that'll go into how they care about each other. And, and uh, same thing with the fans here. So, yeah, we're together. So, Juwan, you were the first, uh, the first addition to the staff, correct? You were the first one hired? Was it, was it me? I think it was, I think I was second, right? You might, I think him and, him and Jean kind of came in the same time, okay, maybe a day, time. maybe a day in between. I'm not sure. Yeah. Think so. have, you, uh, have you had a chance to get all moved in and settled in, Logan? I am. I am. I got settled in a couple weeks ago. Uh, got all my stuff in, and I think I finally got uh, the last bit of my boxes kind of out, and I'm still kind of putting some stuff away and trying to get some stuff set up, but for the most part, I'm, I'm good to go. So what uh, would have been your first impressions of Logan in Cash County? Um, well, I grew up, it was pretty flat. So, I mean, the, the mountains is the first thing that kind of caught my attention and just, um, just the area. And, um, uh, I was previously at a, in a town that I had is roughly 10,000 people. So everybody was saying it wasn't very big here, but coming here was uh, definitely an upgrade for me in a lot of different areas. So uh, I was, I was pretty impressed with all the things they had here and uh, they had to offer. 
offer. So those are the kind of things that stood out to me. Now, for those who, uh, who might not be familiar with you, could you just kind of walk through, uh, through your coaching past? And I know you played college ball as well. Yeah, yeah. So I played at Ball State um, as a student athlete for four years. After that, um, I got right into coaching. I was a GA on the men's side and a video coordinator uh, for two years there. And then once I got out of there, I switched on to the women's side and um, went on with uh, at SEMO in uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And I was there for two years. And then I went to Evansville for a year. And then I was at Murray State previously for the last two years uh, before I came here. So, uh, Jean, same, same question to you. How do you feel like you've uh, settled into Cache Valley? Pretty well, actually. Um, got to have all my stuff unpacked as well and, you know, have everything looking like a home. So that's a comforting feeling. Um, Juwan definitely did help me carry up a gigantic uh, chest for George. No, that thing was heavy. Uh, but yeah, no, settled in pretty well. It's exciting to be here. Now you you've kind of been uh, you came from uh, from coaching in high school, right? Yes. But um, before that, you were a player at LSU, so you you've had plenty of uh, experience of college basketball. Uh, what's it What's it like being back at the D one level? Um, it's pretty great. I've um, I've been very blessed um, to know Kayla for as long as as we have, um, almost ten years now. And you know when she when she uh, called me, it was there wasn't very much of a hesitation. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to get back out. Like you said, I've been in high school um, for five years, head coach for four years at my alma mater. So I had really big shoes to fill there. And, you know, baptism by fire when you're a young coach in charge of a program is, is the best way to learn. And um, I'm excited to, to keep learning from um, each, of our, each of our staff members and Kayla too. Now, had you been trying to get back into, into coaching in college or was, was that a long-term goal or was it just an opportunity that arose and you took it? Um, it's always been a thought. Um, you know, the, the collegiate game is, is leaps and bounds different than the high school level, um, but the fundamentals remain the same. And um, it, it was, it was a, a make, make sure it was the right move um, for my life and my family. And um, it was definitely the right move when Kayla called. Now, Carly, along with being an assistant coach, I know that you're also the, uh, the recruiting coordinator. Now you've had your hands full because I know that you guys have been busy. It seems like every single week we're getting releases and, and seeing stuff on social media about new players coming into the program. What, what can you tell us about some of these new players and uh, what that's been like for you? Well, you know what, they kind of made my, my job easy for me. I think I was the last one to, to get hired here on staff. So uh, Coach K, Juwan, Jean, and, you know, did a phenomenal job. They had to sign for in this uh, 2020 class that will join us next season. So three junior college players and one grad transfer, I think they're all going to be able to come in and contribute in their own way. Um, so like I said, they made my job really easy just, just stepping in. And uh, we have a full roster right now, 15, um, with one walk-on. So we're full and we're excited about the players that are returning and also about the players that we signed. And um, they're all, they're all our kids and we're super excited to coach them. Uh, and, and Taylor, you, I know that you've been a head coach at the, at the JUCO level and you've kind of been all over college basketball as well. You most recently were an assistant at Omaha. What was attractive to the Utah state job for you? Um, I just know coach R through playing against her um, when she was at Denver I mean, not playing, coaching against her when she was at Denver and I was at Omaha and um, love her style of play, um, love the X's and O's side to it. Um, and she's just really great for women's basketball. So I was really excited to jump on board um, and be a part of her stuff. So for whoever wants to answer, what would have been kind of the, uh, the challenges of coaching through this, the, the COVID pandemic and trying to get a team together and trying to get ready for next season, despite not really knowing how things are going to play out here the next few weeks and months? Our players aren't here. That's the biggest challenge. <laughs> it's hard to coach them when they're not here. So how have you guys been able to, to communicate with them and um, to stay in contact with them and make sure that they're, uh, they're on track and doing what they need to be doing? Is anybody else going to talk? It's just going to be me. Nobody wants to talk about it. Uh, I, I'll, say, I'll say something. Um, I know for our, for our girls, we've been trying to – find ways to be creative, give them their space as well, you know, having them spend their time with their families. We've been trying, we did a Zoom meeting um, as well with our, with our team. And we've been trying to stay in contact with our young ladies, call them on the phone, make sure, they have, make sure they're okay with their academic stuff that they're trying to get set up for going forward. So we've just been trying to really stay in contact with them, make sure they knew what they were ready for 
um, kind of get an idea of what we were want to be doing going forward with our offense and some things we want to do with our team as well so they can kind of they're not kind of um, caught off guard by it. So we've been just staying in contact with them and really trying to get that ball rolling. Uh, now, Coach Art, I know that when we talked, you mentioned that you're probably going to be pretty involved with the offense and you like to run a fast paced kind of a style of basketball. Uh, what, what are each of the coaches' responsibilities as far as in game stuff? And uh, what do you think this team is going to look like as far as style of play goes this year? Yeah, we're going to score a lot of points, um, first off. Yeah, I, uh, Jawan is going to help me with the offense, and then um, our other coaches are going to do defense. So we have it split up. Um, I was smart enough to hire some people that were passionate about defense so we can actually get some stops, too. Yeah, um, Carly. If, <laughs> if not, we would just be – just there would be no defense. So, uh, so I'm really excited about those guys uh, focusing on defense and, and – um, as far as in-game stuff, you know, we've done a lot of splitting up positions and, and um, Juwan is going to be our work with our guards and um, uh, Carly and Jean are both going to work with our post players, but we don't, the way we play, we don't really have post players, if you will call them that, so we call them hybrids. And so they do some back to the basket stuff, which Jean will work with them on, but then um, Carly's going to work with them on that face up game. So all, every player on our team has got to be able to handle the ball attack off the bounce, shoot the three. So um, so we got those two guys going to work on that stuff. And then, like I said, Jay's going to work with the uh, with the guards. So we've kind of worked our way through that a little bit. Um, we broke up, you know, the way we're going to do scouts, who's watching what, that type of stuff. Um, and everybody has their own responsibilities with that. But everybody's going to be involved. Um, everybody's going to have a voice. Everybody's very important. Um, you know, Taylor, she's probably got more responsibilities than anybody on the staff, to be honest. So, um, you know, everybody's got stuff to do. She, Taylor's really the one running things over here and keeping things together for us. So um, don't, let it, don't let it fool you. She's really the important one. That's who you ought to be asking all the questions to. Is that, is that true, Taylor? I mean, we'll see. <laughs> but, yeah, probably. All right, we'll, we'll direct all questions from here on out to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that. Sounds good. Uh, so last year's team – you know, clearly they, they, they didn't do as well as they'd hoped, but there's a lot of talent still left over from last year. And I know that you guys have probably watched a lot of film from the girls that are returning. You know, I know there's only a few of them, but uh, what have you been able to see from some of the girls that are coming back and that you've got in the fold for next season? Yeah, I think um, I think we've all watched film by now. I know right when I got here, um, before anybody was here, uh, you know, I really took my time to watch film on every single player that was coming back so I could be very, very honest with every player on the team and what – their future would look like um, as far as what I could see from film, how they fit the system, how they didn't fit the system, what they needed to improve on, what their strengths were. So I spent a lot of time doing that before I got on the phone with every player so that I could be as honest as possible as I could with them. Um, you know, we had a few kids transfer and, and that freed up some scholarships actually for the incoming players that you were talking about. So, and then the four players that we signed um, obviously really fit the system, but uh, I agree. There's, you know, their, their record and the stats do not reflect uh, what's left here. I think a lot of people are going to be really, really shocked at how some of the returners really excel in this program and how much it helps them. Um, you know, the, the run and gun style that we play, it is, it's structured. So it's not just street ball up and down. It's, it's structured, but there's a lot of freedom in there for them to read and react and make plays. Um, you know, we want to get a shot up in the first 12 seconds. And the way that we play, it's, it's going to be a, a good open shot. Uh, we're going to shoot a lot of threes. We're going to pitch the ball ahead. Everybody's going to have the green light to shoot it when they're open. So it's not going to be one or two players scoring 20 points a night. It's going to be very spread out. It's very hard to defend. And I think that's really going to help some of the returners um, coming back to really excel and boost their confidence and, and see what they really are capable of. Because I, I agree, you know, them winning two games in conference and eight games overall, it's not – that's not a reflection of, of, um, of their talent and what they're capable of doing. And, and I think we've, we've made sure the team knows that, the returners know that. And, and uh, you know, Carly spoke about it a minute ago, but we, we signed some really great players to come in. These four kids that are coming in are unbelievable and we couldn't be more excited about them. But we're also just as excited about the returners and, and they're all our kids, um, all 16 of them. We're, we're super excited about them. So uh, some people are going to be surprised. You know, we keep talking about we're going we're gonna to shock the Mountain West and, and I truly believe that our staff believes that, our team believes that. And, um, it's going to happen. So I don't want to, I don't want to put too many of our secrets out there and tell everybody how we're going to do it, but it's, it's definitely going to happen. Has, uh, has everyone been able to get out and try some Aggie ice cream yet? No, but I heard it's I have not. I have not Has anybody either. had it? Nobody? I haven't, but I, I've heard it's great too. What, which one, it, what would you recommend? 
Uh, I'm a big lemon custard fan. It doesn't but sound very good, but it is. Just try it. Mm. Aggie Blue Mint, you can't go wrong. One of the kids told me that. One of our players said something about the Blue Mint, and I told her I would try it. I think it was uh, Taylor France. He told me I had to try it. Taylor would know. Yeah. <laughs> there's, uh, there, there, there's, there's no way you can go wrong, but uh, get out and try that. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys all better throughout the season. Uh, you know, we're going to try and keep doing stuff like this and helping the fans get to know you. I know that there's a lot of excitement for this upcoming season, and I know you guys are working hard and uh, going at it every single day. So appreciate you guys joining me. Hey, thanks for having us, Jaden. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jaden. Of course. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, go Aggies. All right, go Aggies. <laughs>